Hello everyone in this video, let us take a look at uh, an interesting question asked on the community about uh, sending the priority and other JIRA fields along with all the comments that were added on the issue as an email using post function. Now, if, if you are familiar with the script now for JIRA, I'm sure you might have used scripted post function. So basically in uh, script runner, it also comes with a lot of uh, post functions that you can use. So let us say if you try to add a new post function in your uh, Jira instance, and if you have Jira, uh, or rather I should say script runner installed for Jira, you can use one uh, post function called as uh, sending an email. So basically when you transition an issue from one status to another status. Maybe you resolve an issue, maybe you send uh, an issue for an approval. You may want to send an email, your own customized email. So there is this post function called send a custom email and you can of course uh, configure this to basically have your own template. And in this particular post function, uh, which is send a custom email, you need to specify a this email template and uh, you can use these uh, snippets or you can basically use your own custom uh, text based templates but of course the advantage here is uh, to of course have the capabilities of uh, script runner to write scripts and do some uh, additional uh, uh, add some additional logic so for the for this example let me just you know, show you how it works so this is my email uh, template of course uh, my simple uh, text and I can add a, a subject like subject uh, for this email and then you can specify the email format which is a plain text I can change it to HTML and I can specify um, the address where I want to send to whom I want to send this email or I can also pick this from my Jira issues uh, it could be a field a user picker field or maybe a role or maybe a group. So maybe I want to send this email to my Jira software users, and I can I can decide whether if I want to include maybe uh, attachments. So maybe not, and I can specify a few other things. So to preview this, I can use one uh, issue key. So this is my issue def thirteen, and I can uh, simply preview this using uh, uh, the issue key. Now if you click on the preview button, you will get some uh, preview, of course. And this is this is all this is all good. I uh, I mean you can see here that uh, you know, we are able to generate this email. But the advantage of script owner is to use some scripting, of course. And uh, there was this interesting question asked from the community community today about uh, uh, usage of send custom email post function uh, of script owner in workflow. And the question is all about uh, how to send. Uh, this uh, email with various fields and this user Mario uh, was not able to fetch the issue priority and uh, this user also wanted to send an email with all the comments so I've already responded to this uh, to this uh, question but let me show you how it works so the first thing that I will do I will copy the whole comment or the template that this user posted and then will uh, modify it slightly so as you can see, the, see, see here in this particular uh, uh, email template that we have used, uh, let me increase the size slightly. So we have different fields, which is all good. And of course, these fields are coming from the issue and uh, it is basically within the HTML. Now, if I click on the preview, hopefully I can uh, run it and hopefully it will uh, generate a nice template which it is now the problem here is that, that the problem is uh, the priority field is not really getting fresh and the reason is that you need to use uh, something like uh, issue dot priority dot name and if you click on this on the preview button it should work now and uh, let us wait for it to fetch the priority so you need to use the priority uh, I mean issue dot priority dot name now for the for the comments, uh, it is again not very complicated. 
and you need to basically fetch the comments using the comment manager. I mean, the good thing is that uh, right now we are, uh, let me just, you know, clean this slightly. So maybe, uh, so there is there is one uh, text here that says all comments, which the user has uh, posted. So I'll just copy the uh, line here, which is uh, uh, using the component accessor get comment manager method. And uh, when you have uh, the, I mean, when you are able to fetch the comments, you also have the option to use something like this, get last comment, which will only fetch the very last comment, uh, not all of them. So if you look at the issue, which is a dev team, my last comment is please review. And, oh no, the last comment is uh, one more comment. And if I go back to my to my post function, and if I do a preview, let us see if we are able to fetch the last comment. And uh, uh, it says, yeah, one more comment, it is the last comment. But we can also fetch all the comments. So if you look at this piece of code, which I will copy and I will uh, paste it here. And don't worry about the link, I'll, uh, I, I, I'll give you a link. Uh, where you can take a look at the code itself. So to fetch, instead of using the get last comment, uh, and of course when we have the get last comment, uh, we can then fetch the body. So uh, because we are interested in the body, uh, not the comment, uh, I believe it will uh, return an object. So it is something similar to fetch uh, all the comments. So instead of the last comment, we can do something like this, get comments. And when you have all the comments, you can, uh, it will actually uh, give you a list. And then you can uh, basically process the list to basically uh, collect all the body of those comments. And then you can uh, further uh, make sure that uh, whenever you're correcting it, uh, you may want to display it in a new line. So you can do something like this, uh, backslash n. And the rest of the code is, of course, uh, as it is. If I preview this, hopefully it will uh, fetch all the comments. Uh, so right now we can see that it says all comments and uh, please, please review comment one, please review comment two and one more comment. So it is not really limiting, delimiting it by uh, the, by the backslash m. But maybe I can try something like uh, uh, break. Let us see if it works. Hopefully it works. Uh, let me just uh, preview. So I think this works because uh, now we have all the comments and uh, the comments are delimited by HTML break tag. And uh, this is how you can uh, basically fetch the, the comments and uh, you can also use uh, the script post function to basically send an email with your own template and of course, uh, using script owner, the whole idea is to do some processing. So maybe instead of sending all the comments, you may want to send the first comment or last comment, or maybe you want to have some logic here based on a feel that you may have on the issue. The only thing that I want to mention here is that when you're trying to maybe fetch all the comments or maybe you're trying to fetch the last comment, make sure you do some error handling in this particular uh, code here. And, uh, if you want to do maybe a bit more, uh, a bit more uh, uh, programming here, uh, which may span more than one line, so you can do something like this. Uh, you can uh, enclose your uh, code within these two, uh, like less than percentage and uh, percentage greater than sign, and then you can do. A bit more, co uh, I mean, a bit more coding here. Now here we are also doing some error handling and making sure that uh, the last comment exists. Only then you can fetch the body. Otherwise, uh, you will get null pointer exception. So if I run this, hopefully it will work as it is and it will fetch us the uh, last comment, uh, which is what we want to do. Uh, and this is all I want to uh, share in this uh, video. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.